So now let's talk about the shape test of the aggregates. So the particles under shape test are classified as flaky, elongated, and angular. So, so the presence of flaky and elongated particles in the coarse aggregate for the construction is considered as undesirable as it may cause inherent weakness and it may cause the possibility of breaking down during the compaction as well. So we try to restrict the use of these particles and only 15% of flaky and elongated particles are allowed in our construction. So the evaluation of shape of particles is made in terms of flakiness index, elongation index and angularity number. So first let's talk about the flakiness index. An aggregate will be called flaky if its least dimension is less than 0.6 times the mean dimension. All right. An aggregate will be called flaky if its least dimension is less than the three-fifths or 0.6 times of their mean dimension. For this test, particles larger than 6.3 mm are used. To measure the flakiness of these particles, we pass these particles from this thickness gauge, which is showing on your screen right now. So, the weight of the particles passing through this thickness gauge is measured, and this weight is divided by the total weight of the aggregates, and this flakiness index is measured in terms of percentage. So two flaky particles are avoided and only 15% of the flaky particles are desirable in our pavement construction. Now let's talk about the elongation index of the aggregates. So a particle is said to be elongated if its greatest dimension is greater than 1.8 times of its mean dimension. This test is also applicable for sizes greater than 6.3 mm. As it was in the case of flakiness index, the particles are passed through this length gauge and the weight of the particle which passes through this length gauge is measured and is divided by the total weight of the aggregates. Similarly, in the elongation index, the elongation index of aggregates is also measured in percentage. And lastly, I want to tell you that elongated and flaky aggregates are less workable. Also, they are highly likely to break under smaller loads. And flakiness index and elongation index values in excess of 15% are generally considered undesirable. Now let's talk about the angularity number. So an experiment was done and it was found that a maximum of 33% of voids exist in a well-compacted single-sized rounded aggregates. So, it is not always possible that we will always get the perfect rounded aggregates for our construction. So, we always measure the angularity number in excess of 33%. And the angularity number is given as 67 minus 100 W divided by CGA, where W is the mean weight of the aggregates. C is the weight of the water required to fill the cylinder and GA is the specific gravity of the aggregates. Also, higher the angularity number, more angular the aggregate. Angularity number is always expressed as nearest whole number and the angularity number used for construction lies between 0 to 11.